my neighbor made his ex-girl go bye bye with the pew pew. Where he went, he couldn't take his belongings with him, so his stuff got liquidated. In his garage, he had a 2006 CBR 600 double R. I'm putting Q-tips into the holes that were holding the fairings. When I 3D scan the bike, I'll know where the screw holes are. And I'll also have a reference of how far out I need to design the plastic pieces, which I'll be 3D printing at home. Some of the holes are a little too big, so I covered the bottoms with masking tape. It fits just right. I noticed that the radiator was missing a screw. Now that all the Q-tips are installed into the holes, I stepped back and took a look at it. My mind is connecting all the Q-tips together and I'm visualizing what I could design. I missed some on the wheels. This will be for the splash guard. Since the foot pegs were bent, I ordered some brand new ones. The speedometer was sticking way out, so I unscrewed it from its bracket. It came off really easily. It's missing a few buttons. I'll worry about this later. I couldn't believe how heavy this bracket was that was holding the speedometer together. This was also holding up the headlights. I'm gonna have to design a new one to tuck away the speedometer. And I'll need a new compact headlight. We're going for a naked Street Fighter look. The old headlights are really bulky. There's a lot of cheap headlights on eBay for like 30 bucks. The top ones go for like $300 to $700. I didn't want to spend that much. I found these for around 100. Maybe on the next bike I'll splurge more. I spent the rest of the evening sketching out some designs, thinking about the flow of lines. The red dots are the Q-tips. I'm gonna have a lot of triangles and curves. Drew some inspiration from Cafe Racers. I've been looking at Gundam parts all day. Soaked in that inspiration and applied it to some more sketches. Really crude sketches. Designing is going to take me the longest, manufacturing probably not that long. 